So th now we are going to discuss the different types of inheritances supported in Shisha, right? So wh whenever I'm saying types of inheritances, what it means, now it means the number of child classes a parent class have and the number of parent classes a child class have, right? So if you are creating a parent class, how many child classes that parent class have? If you are creating a child class, then how many parent classes that child class have? Or if you are having a parent class, then how many child classes? So all these things are going to be decided is nothing but your, uh, you can say the types of inheritances, right? So types of inheritances means what this type of inheritance will tell us is the number of parent classes a child class have or the number of child classes a parent class have. Suppose you are creating one parent class, then how many child classes that parent class have? Suppose you are creating one child class, then how many parent classes that child class have? It's nothing but inheritance, right? According to C++, so why I'm telling C++? Because object-oriented programming came into the picture from the C++ only. If you learn in your academic C++, then you might be know in C++, we have the OOPS concept, right? So the OOPS concept first introduced from the C++ programming language, right? So according to C++, we have five different types of inheritances, right? You might be know single inheritance, multi-level inheritance, hierarchical inheritance, hybrid inheritance, and multiple inheritance. This is this classification is based on C++, not C sharp. According to C sharp, we will categorize. But this classification based on C++, right? Then what is a single inheritance? Now, when a class is inherited from a single base class, then the inheritance is called single inheritance. You can see here we have a class called A. And here we have a class called B. And B class is inheriting from class A. So in this case, B class having a single parent class or not, right? And A class is having a single child class. So this is nothing but your single inheritance, single base class and single child class. This type of inheritance we call as single inheritance, right? Then multi-level inheritance. When a derived class is created from another derived class, whenever, whenever I'm saying derived class, you can consider it as a child class or you can consider it as a the uh, uh, subclass also because we have already discussed derived class, child class, subclass meaning is same. Parent class, base class, super class meaning it's going to be same. So whenever you create a derived class from another derived class, then such type of inheritance is called multi-level inheritance. You can see here C is a derived class. C is created from B class, but B is also a derived class which is created from class A. And here A is the base class from A class B is created from B, class C is created. So whenever you created this type of inheritances in your application, then this type of inheritance is termed as multi-level inheritance, right? Now, the next one is hierarchical inheritance, right? In hierarchical inheritance, what it means that you have one base class and multiple derived classes, right? So when more than one derived classes or when one more than one subclasses or when one more than one child classes are created from a single base class or from a single parent class or from a single super class, then such type of inheritances is called hierarchical inheritance. In this case, you can see we have only one super class. We have only one base class that is A, but we have created three different child classes, child class B, child class C, and child class three. Three child classes are created from a single base class and when you have find this kind of inheritances, then you can term this as hierarchical inheritance, right? Then multiple inheritance. This is just the opposite of hierarchical inheritance, right? In hierarchical inheritance, one base class, multiple child classes. In multiple inheritance, multiple base classes, one child class, right? When a derived class is created from more than one base classes, then such type of inheritance is called multiple inheritance. In this case, you can see C is derived class, but this C class is derived from A class and B class, right? So whenever you do this kind of inheritance relationship, then this is called as multiple inheritance, right? And the last one is hybrid inheritance. Hybrid inheritance is the inheritance. It is the combination of single multiple hierarchical, right? In this, uh, in this case, you can see this is the example of hybrid inheritance. It is the combination of single multiple level hierarchical and multiple right so if you look this 
So D is a derived class. This D derived class having two base classes B and C. So B and C means multiple base classes for it. Or this uh, derived class. So this is nothing but your multiple inheritance, right? Now again, see this. You are having the base class A. From base uh, from base class A, you have a uh, derived class B, and you have a derived class C. So this is nothing but your hierarchical inheritance, right? So you can see D. For D, parent is B. For B, parent is A. So this is nothing but your multi-level. For D parent is C, or C parent is A. This is nothing but your multi-level. That means hybrid inheritance is nothing but it is the combination of a multi-level, hierarchical, and a multiple inheritances, right? So this is nothing but your hybrid inheritance. And this above what five classification we have discussed, this is purely based on C programming language, right? Now comes to the types of inheritance in C plus uh, C sharp, right? If you look single, multi-level, and hierarchical inheritances, they are looks very similar. At any point of time, they are having a single parent class. But if you look multiple and hybrid, they are having more than one parent class for a child class. See, this is the single inheritance. In single inheritance for class B, how many immediate parent class? Class A is the only parent class, na. And coming to this multi-level for C, how many immediate parent class? One that is B for B. How many parent classes? That is A, right? Coming to this uh, uh, hierarchical, right? For B, who is the parent class A? For B, only one parent class. For C, only one parent class. For D, only one parent class, right? So if you look single multi-level hierarchical, they are looks very similar. That means at any point of time, they are having a single parent class, right? So in this case, B having a single parent class. In this case, C having a single parent class. That is B. For B, there is a single parent class. That is A. And in this case, B, C, D, all are having single parent class called A. So this is nothing but you can term as single inheritance, right? And coming to the other part, right? This is nothing but your multiple inheritance. So multiple inheritance means when a class having more than immediate parent class, we can say that is multiple inheritance, right? In the case of a multiple inheritance, C. C having two immediate parent class or not? A and B. So this is multiple inheritance. For D, how many immediate parent class are there? Two parent class. This is hybrid inheritance. But inside hybrid inheritance, we have D class, which is having B and C. So whenever you are seeing more than one parent class, you can turn that as multiple inheritance. And whenever you are seeing there is only one immediate parent class, then you can turn that as single inheritance, right? So, so as per C, Surf standard, we can broadly classify the above five categories of inheritance into two types. One is single inheritance. In single inheritance, we have single multi level and hierarchical, and another is multiple inheritance, where we have multiple and a hybrid inheritance, right? So, so we can define single inheritance. If at all a class has one immediate parent class to it, we call it a single inheritance, right? For better understanding, you can see this image. So, for C, there is one parent class B. For B, there is one parent class A. So at any point of time, a class having only one immediate parent class called this as a single inheritance, right? Now coming to the other part. If a class has more than one immediate parent class to it, then we call it as multiple inheritance, right? You can see this class having C. C having two immediate parent class. So whenever a class having more than one immediate parent class, then you need to tell that it is a multiple inheritance. So the point that you need to remember is how many immediate parent class a child class has. If you one immediate parent class, call it a single inheritance. And if more than one immediate parent class, call it as multiple inheritance. So there should not be any confusion between five different types of inheritances. Simply you can consider there are two types of inheritance. One is single inheritance. Another is multiple inheritance. Inside single inheritance, the things are coming is single inheritance, multi-level inheritance, and a hierarchical inheritance. And in multiple, you have multiple inheritance as well as hybrid inheritance. Is that clear? Guys? Yes, sir. Okay. Now we have so so the, the example so far we have discussed are nothing but the example of single inheritance only, right? So you can see. This is the, okay, forget about the program class. This is one class, right? This is class, another class, right? In this case, you can see this is rectangle class. 
this class having some properties length and breadth and this class is calculating the area and the perimeter so you can calculate area by multiplying length and breadth and you can calculate the perimeter of a rectangle by uh, adding length and breadth and multiplying by 2 and this class cubed is inherited from the rectangle class and this class having one property called height and this class taking three uh, this constructor taking three parameters length breadth and uh, height and it is initializing these three parameters and it is calculating the volume and how you can calculate the volume of a cubit means length into breadth into height, right? So this is a class which is inheriting from the rectangle class, right? And if you want to calculate the area of a rectangle, then you can call this method using this cubit class object. And if you want to calculate the perimeter of a cubit, then you can create an instance of a cubit class and you can call this method, right? But using rectangle instance, you cannot call this method because this method is purely defined inside the child class. This is a pure child class member. You cannot access, right? So now, now you can see I'm creating an instance of a cubit and I'm calling the volume method, I'm calling the area method and I'm calling the perimeter method now now if you create an instance of a rectangle right so i'm creating an instance of a rectangle RECT, right and what i'm doing i'm doing this rectangle RECT. yes right and i'm not passing anything to this rectangle what i can do i can type RECT. okay right RECT dot length equals to 10 RECT dot breadth equals to 20 right and using this RECT you can only you can only access the volume you cannot access the volume but you can access the perimeter and area why you cannot access because this is a rectangle parent class this volume is a pure child class member right so you cannot access right so you can call like this so this is nothing but the example of single inheritance right you can see the output see volume area perimeter area and a perimeter so this is nothing but single inheritance and whatever example so far we have discussed are nothing but the examples of single inheritance now let us try to observe multiple inheritance right so multiple inheritance means one class having more than one parent class this is one class phone this is another class camera and this smartphone class inheriting from two classes phone and a camera and you can see we are getting one error class smartphone cannot have a multiple base classes phone and a camera so you cannot inherit uh, your class from two classes that is not possible in c -sharp. so multiple inheritance through classes so here we are using class so multiple inheritance through classes is not supported in c -sharp, right we'll discuss why it is not supported what exactly multiple inheritance what problem actually we are going to face all these things we are going to discuss right but not now so once we start discussing the multiple inheritance concept at that time i will explain everything in detail so why in simple sense we can say handling the complexity cost due to multiple inheritance is very complex right since it is not supported in the internet with classes right but it is supported with the interface right in our multiple inheritance session we'll discuss this concept is that clear